time and welcome to your English class. Okay, welcome everyone. Chicos, bienvenidos. Welcome. And today we have a topic about the clothes. Okay, yes. Vamos a hablar, chicos, sobre las prendas de vestir, las ropas que en English nosotros le decimos clothes. Okay, y vamos a ver cuál podemos utilizar entonces. Bien. The first is t-shirt. Repeat after me. T-shirt. Okay, yes, good job. It's a cloth that we can use in summertime. Es una prenda de vestir que usamos pues en tiempo de verano, ¿verdad? Yes, the t-shirt. Now we have the jacket. Y ahora tenemos pues la casaca jacket. Okay, very good students. Repeat after me. Jacket. Good job. Now let's continue. Vamos a continuar con la siguiente imagen, ¿ok? Y aparece en pantalla. This is a cloth you can wear in winter season. Podemos usarlo en winter, ¿verdad? Es el sweater. Repeat, sweater. One more time, students. Una vez más, practicamos sweater. Now let's continue. And here we have the coat. ¿Ok? Practice again. Coat. Excellent. One more time. Una vez más, coat. Tenemos el saco ahí que en English le decimos coat. Y vamos a ir con otra prenda de vestir que realmente es un accesorio, ¿bien? And here we have the hat. Acá tenemos pues el sombrero o hat. Yes, repeat, hat. And we can use it in summer. Y podemos usarlo en summer para protegernos. Al igual que la skirt que ahí tenemos en pantalla. Repeat after me. Skirt. Ok, one more time. Skirt. Good job, students. Amazing. Now we have to continue with the pants. Ok, repeat again. Pants. One more time, students. Pants. Y tenemos, chicos, los pantalones que en English le decimos pants. Ok, good job. Now let's continue. And here we have more clothes. Aparecen más prendas de vestir, students, para usar en la parte baja, ¿verdad? A partir de la cintura abajo, for example, shorts. Ok, good job. Repeat, shorts. Excellent. Now we have to continue with the jeans. Okay, practice students, jeans. Repeat again, jeans. Excellent, good job students. Aparecen pues los pantalones más usados, ¿no? Los jeans. Y ahora continuamos con una clothes, una prenda de vestir que pues es usado por las girls, por las niñas, the dress. Okay, practice dress. Entonces llamamos a esta prenda de vestir students, dress. Good job. Now we have in the picture shoes. Okay, practice shoes. Excellent, students. Repeat again. Shoes. Okay, good job. Tenemos ahí los zapatos, el calzado, que le decimos shoes. Pero vamos con otro tipo de calzado, students, que usamos pues in the beach, in summer. Okay, yes, we have the sandals. Repeat again. Sandals. Perfect. Amazing. Now let's continue with this scarf. Okay, repeat, students. Scarf. Yes. One more time. Scarf. Good job, children. Buen trabajo, chicos. Tenemos ahí la scarf. Que a veces le decimos nosotros chalina, ¿verdad? Vamos ahora con otro calzado. Bueno, algo para proteger nuestros pies. Bien. Y le decimos socks a las medias. Repeat after me, socks. Las medias, students, entonces socks. And finally, to protect our hands from the cold. Para proteger nuestras manos del frío. Yes, we wear gloves. Ok, students, repeat, gloves. Los guantes, entonces en English, gloves. So now let's review all this new vocabulary about the clothes. Ahora vamos a repasar todo este nuevo vocabulario, chicos, de las ropas, de las prendas de vestir o también clothes, como los llamamos en English, ¿ok? So get ready. Prepárense, chicos. You have to pronounce correctly. Hay que pronunciar aquí correctamente. Bien, y empezamos ahí con la first picture. La primera imagen que aparece que es, pues, el polo en English. Students, ¿cómo lo voy a llamar? Ok, repeat after me. Ready. 
T-shirt, T-shirt, jacket, jacket, sweater, sweater, coat, coat, hat, hat, skirt, skirt, pants, pants, shorts, shorts, jeans, jeans, dress, dress, shoes, shoes, sandals, sandals, scarf, scarf, socks, socks, gloves, gloves. Excellent, nice job. Buen trabajo, children. So now we have to do some activities. Vamos a hacer algunas actividades con respecto pues a las clothes. But this time you have to listen and pay attention. Van a escuchar, chicos, y prestar atención a las clothes que cada character, cada personaje dice, ¿bien? The number of the quantity va a aparecer por sí solo, chicos, la cantidad, ¿bien? The clothes que requiere cada personaje. Ok, so pay attention, listen, please. One. How many hats have you got, honey? I've got 11 hats. Two. How many t-shirts have you got, Fred? I've got 12 t-shirts. Three. How many jackets have you got, Chatty? I've got 11 jackets. Four. How many sweaters have you got, Snap? I've got 10 sweaters. Five. How many skirts have you got, Kate? I've got 11 skirts. Okay, excellent students. Good job. We already complete the first exercise, but now we are going to listen to a song. Bien, chicos, completamos el primer ejercicio, pero ahora oímos una song, una canción para agrupar bien las clothes according to the Child, de acuerdo al niño que tenemos ahí. Bien, puede ser Tom, Susie, Ben, Kelly. ¿Qué les gusta vestir a ellos? What are their favorite clothes? Vamos a escucharlo, ¿ok? Listen. My name is Tom. My jeans are blue. My jacket is brown, my hat is orange, I like my clothes, my clothes are great. My name is Susie, my skirt is red, my shoes are white, my sweater is green, I like my clothes, my clothes are great. My name is Ben, my jeans are blue, my jacket is green, my t-shirt is white, I like my clothes, my clothes are great. My name is Kelly, my hat is orange, my shoes are black, my skirt is red. I like my clothes, my clothes are great. Okay, amazing, amazing, good job, students. Buen trabajo, chicos. Do you guess all the clothes? Yes? So, excellent, perfect. Now what we have to do is circle, okay, in the picture, the person that is wearing the clothes in the box. Vamos a encerrar en circle a la persona, chicos, que esté vistiendo lo que indica en el cuadro, ¿bien? Ok, so be attentive. Hmm? It says, I'm wearing a dress. Who is wearing a dress in the picture? Yes, the little girl. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. Ahí estoy diciendo, pues, chicos, estoy vistiendo un vestido. ¿Quién viste un vestido? Dress. La niña, ¿bien? Vamos con el siguiente. I'm wearing sandals. 
I'm wearing sandals. So who is the person or people who is or are wearing sandals? A ver, chicos, ¿quién es la persona o las personas que visten sandals in the picture? Hmm? Yes, the mother and the grandfather as well. También el abuelo. Bien, chicos, good job. Now, let's continue. Okay, so in the picture, who is wearing shorts? Hmm? The sentence says, I'm wearing shorts. A ver, ¿quién será la persona que viste shorts? Students in the picture. Okay, give me the answer. Yes, the grandfather. Good job, very good. Now, let's continue. Okay, once again, we have to look at the picture and circle. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing shoes. Okay, so who is the person in the picture who's wearing shoes? ¿Quién es la persona en la picture que viste shoes, zapatos? Yes, the father and the little girl. Good job. Now, let's finish with this last picture, okay? Aquí me dice, chicos, la oración. I'm wearing a jacket. I'm wearing a jacket. Okay, who's the person who's wearing a jacket? ¿Quién es la persona que viste una jacket? Students, the grandfather. Okay, perfect. Very good job, students. Remember to continue practicing and see you next time. Okay, goodbye.